3D printer maintenance. <laughs> Bed leveling. All 3D printers need bed leveling. This is needed to get the right layer height and the best adhesion to get successful prints from your 3D printer. Something you need to learn and feel to get it right. I have machines with and without EBL, but for me, manual bed leveling is the fastest way to do it. Some 3D printers that come with an outer bed leveling require you to manually level the bed the first time in order to get it calibrated. After that is done, the printer will print without you to need to manually level it again. Bed adhesion and cleaning the bed. Success or fail. This is one of the things that is key to your success of 3D printing. Always keep your heated bed clean from any grease or oil on the bed and any leftovers from previous print jobs. IPA or dish soap water can be used to clean your bed every so many times of use. Always check your bed before starting a new print. Belts. Most 3D printers are using them. It's needed in order to get things moving in your 3D printer. Check your belts on a regular basis and see if they have damage, grease or anywhere. See and also check if the belts are not too loose or maybe too tight. Because if they are too tight then you will get also some ugly prints on your print bed. Also something very important, updates. Updating the firmware can help you with known issues of the printer. It happens that the printer you buy has some outdated firmware on it or there was a major issue and the company has fixed it in the meantime. With a firmware update, you can also benefit from it as well. Check the website from the manufacturer for these updates and check them on your printer in the about this printer section in the menu. The next one, SD cards or thumb drive. It is healthy to renew the SD card or the thumb drive that came with the printer. Sometimes the SD card or the thumb drives that come with the printer are from lesser quality and the information and the data can get lost on the media. A pro tip, if you get the printer brand new, store the data from that media onto your computer because that way, if something happens, you always have a backup. If you are still watching this video, thank you. You are amazing. Did you know that? There are several ways to support this channel. I have a Patreon site. Link is in the description. You can also, you know, do YouTube memberships and your name is going to be added here or maybe here. I don't know where it is actually going to be. There is also a thanks button where you can support me just one time. And if you don't want to support this channel financially, hey, that is okay. There's also other ways like liking this video, subscribe to the channel if you are not subscribed yet. There's a bell so that you get notifications and you don't miss out on any of the videos. If you like gaming and gameplay, there's another channel called Easy Zack. I post there almost every week a video about Minecraft gameplay or some other gameplay. I'm so into the Minecraft gameplay that at this moment you will only see Minecraft gameplay there. And also I have a Twitch twitch.tv slash Zagary's world. I stream there every Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. Sometimes a little bonus day I will stream there as well. So hey, go on Twitch and check me out there as well. If you made it this far, you are amazing and I will see you next time. Peace. Bye bye.